What's up YouTube and welcome to the Casual Yugi Stuff Studio. Here in this video today, we have the most amount of mail that I think I've ever received on a weekly basis. So as you can see, we have our lighting right up here, our stand for our beautiful Dark Arm Dragon playmat, Hobby League. And here in fact we have all of the pieces of mail that we have received over this week. I've been away this week and as you can see, we have so many mail parcels. We have one, two big boxes, two medium sized parcels, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that is a total of 16 pieces of mail, 12 letters, two small boxes, and two large boxes. Are you ready for this, guys? Let's do this together. The massive mega mail day opening on the Casual Yusuf channel. Let's do it here together, guys. I hope you enjoy. As I was saying, everybody, welcome to the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh! mail day on the casual Yu-Gi stuff channel that I can remember for a long time. Just look at that. This is not even the biggest parcels here. These are the 14... Oh, 12 was it uh, letters and small parcels um, and a couple of which have been sent by really good friends of the channel of friends of mine in my Yu-Gi-Oh journey here as well as on YouTube on Instagram so stay tuned for these ones they're gonna be great this video may be a really long one guys I'm going to try and get it all fit in um, under 45 minutes perhaps around about an hour but we shall see so if you're enjoying mail day videos on my channel please smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you're new to the channel and also turn on that notification bell just because I know YouTube now can be a bit funny around sending notifications and YouTube uh, video updates so that would be fantastic if you could do all of the above guys much appreciated and uh, it really does go a long way so like I said don't really know where to start in this video thankfully I do have my knife to get us through it's gonna be put to the test here this little knife it might be a bit broken by the end of opening all this mail but yeah guys, let's just grab one and get going, because um, that's probably the best way to do it. We have our soft sleeves here for any single cards that we get and we think are in good condition and want to be kept that way. So first piece of mail guys, on the channel, for this mail day, mail day I'm extremely excited. Let's see what we can get. I hope you are all very well guys, I've had a very busy week myself at work. And what I do now is I stash up all of my pieces of mail. I don't know if you've, uh, if you guys know that I've uh, recently started a new job, um, so I have less time essentially to do YouTube videos. However, I do not want to give up my channel. That's something that I never ever want to do. Even with, like I mentioned in a couple of previous videos, the new changes to YouTube with regards to, um, you know, the child protection laws. I'm never going to stop creating content for you guys, honestly, unless it does reach a point in my life where, you know, a couple of years down the line, I really don't have much time for it, but the channel will always be active, guys, for, the, for you out there who want to watch my content, so I really appreciate it, and like I say, my channel would not be anything without my viewers, so really do love you all for that. So, first piece of mail are these awesome Thunder Kids. I all... I ordered a playset of these um, just because it reminded me of Tristan Taylor and Thunder Kid from Champion Pack 01. It's actually really, really awesome. So, three Thunder Kids. What do you think of those guys? They're really, really awesome. I love Thunder Kid. Just a standard vanilla monster. So classic and iconic, though. And these were £2 for a playset, so I had to get it. I really did. They're in good condition as well. You know, yeah, really, really happy with that. I'm going to just put them in the sleeve that they came. They came in and uh, put them down for the time being. But three Thunder Kids, can't go wrong. I'm really happy with those. Excellent stuff. Really, really cool. Let me just move the lighting a bit closer. Hopefully that's a bit better for you. Now, second piece of mail. Let's see, guys. I honestly think there's going to be so much good stuff in this mail, though. So I do appreciate it could be a bit of a long one. So if you can skip around, stick around and not skip the video, that would be that would be awesome. So what's this card here? Hasn't been sent with any sellotape, which is a bit annoying, and potentially has received damage because of it. And it's a Dark Lucius Level Eight Ultimate Rare. Got this for a really good price. 
actually. Got this for around 15 bucks and I know it's about 50 bucks at least, so really good bargain on that. But yeah, like I said, it's just been a bit damaged by the unfortunate um, packaging, I think. But it's a Euro Ultimate Rare from CDIP. It's funny because the, <laughs> the company that I work for is actually CIPD. <laughs> So this is CI, this is CDIP, which is very funny. I always think of Cyber Dark Impact when I'm at work. <laughs> so that's really, really funny to know. Just a little fun fact for you guys out there who actually watch the video all the way through and don't skip my videos, which I know most of you do because my average view time is very low. So I'm gonna try and put some more incentive for you guys to watch more of the videos. In fact, what I might start doing is at the end of each mail day video, which is gonna be the, probably the longest videos, I might ask a couple of questions at the end of it and the people who comment down below the three correct answers to them I'll probably do a little giveaway prize for you so yeah just a little food for thought for you guys if you would uh, like to see that let me know and okay third piece of mail there's some cars in here I think this came from France I'm not entirely sure um, yeah perhaps because I don't know what these are these could be let me just read this Mm, yeah, let me see. Oh no, these cards came from from Israel. I'm not sure what these are really. These might have been sent to me by a friend. I'm not sure. Let's have a little look. I can see some lost art sealed promos here. A bit strange. I might have to check up on this. Yes, yes, these are from. I know who exactly who these are from. These are from our good old friend on the channel who is now our official sponsor, who is going by the name, he told me, Mr. Joey Wheeler. So guys, you know how Simply Unlucky has Kyber as a sponsor? We are gonna have Joey Wheeler, and he is our sponsor. And he likes to go by that name, so we will keep it that way. And, um, and yeah, really, really happy to say that uh, my good friend, from Instagram um, is now my sponsor, which is just awesome. He's gonna be sending me regular cards and stuff for grading. I think you saw his Exodia set, which came previously. So here's some cards. Um, he ordered some World Legacy uh, Scars, which is uh, there's a lot of those. That's really interesting to see, really, really nice. And here are some Lost Art promos as well. I'm going to try and make this video as short as I can guys, but it's going to be a lot of mail to go through. I can appreciate it. The longevity of the videos. Alright, so here we go. What pieces has he put through here? He's put a leg, an arm, and the head of Exodia, which are all of course sealed and hopefully they're in good condition. I think you might want to grade these. Yeah, they're looking good. If not, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I can do. I can trade out some of my ones, which are in better condition for him. But thank you very much, Joey, for those. Really, really appreciate it. How's the lighting looking there? Yeah, it's probably a bit better. Okay, we'll put them down there. Out of the way, and now moving on to the fourth piece of mail. So thanks, Joey, for those beautiful, gorgeous Exodia Lost Art. If um, What I would have to say before I move on to this is, guys, if you haven't invested or are collecting Lost Art promos, I think you should because they're going to be rare in the future, and I think they're going to be quite sought after. So... Just a word of advice from an investing point of view and perspective. If you have the time, chuck 50 bucks for an Exodia set or however much it costs now. Because I think I paid like 30 bucks for my set and I got two sets ages ago in like a Mail Day Season 5 Episode 6 or something. Anyway, moving on to the fourth piece of mail. It's another single card, guys. It's another single. What is it? Ooh, it's a face down. Looks like a trap card. It's red. <laughs> Ooh, Divine Grace North Wemco. Yes, this was a gorgeous card I got from eBay, actually. Somebody was selling his collection, and I only wanted the one card out of it. And he said, yeah, okay, we'll do it for about £10. So, fantastic. I think this card is worth a little bit more than £10. Uh, I got it for a good deal, but he was really happy for me to, um, to pay £10, uh, the good old man. So... There you go, Divine Grace North Wempo. That is fantastic. That's so stunning and gorgeous from um, Stardust Overdrive. And it's actually in fabulous condition as well. A little bit of scuffing and scratching, but nothing serious at all. That's near mint in my opinion. 
Um, Divine Grace, North Wemco. What do you think about this card, guys? Let me just change the lighting. There you go, that's probably a bit nicer. Look at that, she looks like a gorgeous queen. Yep, so happy. So, so happy that came through. Thank you very much, Mr. eBay. Wow, gorgeous. Divine Grace, North Wemco. Mail number five is here. This feels like quite a heavy uh, piece of mail. Wonder what's inside. Perhaps a few more singles. Ooh, it's a letter within a letter. That's interesting. Oh, this came from Canada, actually. Um, I just ripped out who it was from, unfortunately. Let's see. Um, this could be from some of our friends on Instagram. Yes, indeed it is. It is Mr. What is his name? <laughs> Oh good, I can't, I can't remember. What is his name? His name is, oh god, CDN Yu-Gi-Oh Sales. That's his name, CDN Yu-Gi-Oh Sales, or CDN Sales Yu-Gi-Oh. He is awesome, I've bought from him several times on the channel, guys, so you should be well aware who he is. I mention him every time. And yeah, he sells some awesome cards. Um, I think he's more of a serious collector. So he's selling off the little pieces he has to get some money to afford the bigger pieces, which makes total sense. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really happy to say that I got these off him. Is that a misprint summon skull? That looks like a misprint. A bit of a shift, actually, at the top. Let me get the lighting on this one second, guys. Sorry, guys, I was saying, is this a misprinted summon skull? It seems to have a bit of a foil shift, if you can see here. Potentially, but it's a dark beginning one summon skull that I needed that for my collection. I think Ruxin packed a um, Summon Skull in his uh, Dark Beginning 1 box opening, so check that out. He's a really cool guy also, Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber like myself. Then we have a Thousand Dragon, a classic MRD Thousand Dragon. I just wanted it because I only have the European ones, I think, at the moment. So this is a original print Thousand Dragon. Not much foil bleed on this one, to be fair. I'm used to seeing Thousand Dragons with lots of foil bleed on them, but this one's really, really nice nonetheless. It's almost rare if it hasn't got foil bleed. So yeah, Thousand Dragon, you can tell how dark it is on the back. But this is a not a reprint. Then I have a Gemini Elf. I needed this for my second binder, guys, because now I need to show you off the binder, because I've mentioned the binder so long, but it will come before Christmas, so don't you worry at all. It might be my Christmas special to show you my awesome binder, guys. Look at that Gemini Elf. Gorgeous card. Really, really nice. And finally, from CDN Yu-Gi-Oh, a four bucks insect princess, which was the actual price I paid for it. So, first edition, I actually needed one of these um, for the actual binder, the good binder, which I need to show you. Yeah, it's in good condition. Really, really nice card. Really, really nice card. Insect princess, beauty. And I love the shadow as well. How you can see her evil shadow smirking and coming up with an evil plan. However, her real self is just a little cute, adorable insect, which is uh, half human, half insect. So yeah, excellent. Thank you, CDM Sales Yu-Gi-Oh! For those four cards. Really happy with them. They're in good condition as well, as said on the box. It's always a great buy from you, so thank you so much, my friend. Moving on to this one here. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh! minifigure. As you know, I've been collecting them on my channel and in my personal collection. Um, so... I wanted to show off the minifigure that I got recently because it's an awesome one and it was pretty good value as well. There he is, look at that, Mr. Dark Magician who's missing his head. That was really sad. Going to have to super glue Dark Magician's head back on guys. That is really, really sad. That must have broken in transit. Oh my goodness gracious. Poor old Dark Magician. But yeah, um, once his head will come back on, that'll be really cool. Just a bit sad that he has broken. Um, Dark Magician, guys. Yeah, I'll have to tell the... Oh, that's cool. He's got a little button as well. But yeah, no problem at all. I'll super glue that back on, guys. It looks like he has already been super glued. So, no worries. Anyway, for display, he'll look good. And I'll make a fake star for him as well. But sorry, Dark Magician. You have... Uh, don't want to say the word, but uh, decapitated on us. <laughs> but yeah, that's Dark Magician, guys. Uh, the little minifigure that we got. And then the next piece of mail, I've already forgotten what number we're at. I think it's seven. Let's do it. Another piece of mail, guys. 
15 minutes in almost already and uh, it's gonna be a long one as I said so grab that popcorn and enjoy blue eyes white dragon from jump this is a card I bought on bid on eBay just cuz I thought it looked really nice but there is a scratch on it somewhere isn't there yeah there there's the scratch there but yeah really nice condition beautiful card he was also selling some other cards like a Trihorn Dragon first edition, but I didn't manage to win it on bid. It was a uh, European. Yeah, this is off center left to right. This is just my binder, nothing for PSA. It's gorgeous blue eyes white dragon. I had a really bad condition one, so I wanted to upgrade it. Nice buy. And now onto the next piece of mail. Who's this one from? This is from UK, so this is probably eBay. Okay. Okay, so these cards have been sent. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, look at the damage on that. For not putting freaking sellotape on top of the car, that's so frustrating. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, everybody. Ghost Rare. Sent awfully. Sent so badly, it's even got a scratch on it there. I know it doesn't. But yeah, did you see that, guys? This card was in a mint condition. And look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tell the seller about that. I'm not happy at all with that. Slid out of the top and flipped up top corners. Because this car was looking like a PSA 9 or 8 worthy, because Ghost Rares are really hard. But now it's, well, it hasn't got many surface scratches, but maybe you can get a 9 for that. Who knows? It's really, really unfortunate. But a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, nonetheless, a really gorgeous card. I got it at a good value. I got it for £30, which is like £40. Bucks. Um, so I can't really complain. Just started watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal, guys. I'm currently on episode 12. And I actually like it. It's really not that bad. It's such an easy watch if you have some time and want to watch some duels. I really like how in Zexal there's lots of duels. And um, the Link monsters are really, really fun as well. I used to really, really... Um, dislike even synchros but now you know that i'm older i can appreciate it and i'm really really happy with um zexal i'm watching it time for a little drink guys 15 minutes in well 17 minutes in uh, so as i was saying guys let's move on to the next piece of mail before this takes forever which is this parcel here moving on to some more interesting things now guys parcels let's see Ooh, okay Okay, what do we have here? Let's see. Oh, there's a little message in here as well. This seems to be a long message. Right, that's my order. That's in fact all of the cards I've ordered. Yes, these are all of the common cards I ordered from uh, Tournament Pack 1. Because I wanted the European set of Tournament Pack cards. So in here there should be some awesome cards. Here you go. Some Champion Pack, Tournament Packs, the lot. So really, really old cards in here, everybody. See? Shining Friendship, for example. Really nice. They go well with our Thunder Kids. Similar sort of, sort of vibe. Let's have a little quick flick through these. Oh, there's a Princess Quran there as well. So here's all the Champion Pack cards. Just go through them. They're in mint condition, guys. Pack fresh. Shining Friendship. Cockroach Knight. Awesome. Oslo Hero. Kugawa um, Gamma, I think. Giant Flea. Cyber Soldier of Dark World and Wudan, the Resident of the Forest. I've never held this card, let alone seen this card in real life before. So I thought really nice for the collection. And the Judgment Hand. You can see the TP1E cards. So yeah, in a really good condition. Oh my god, I'm sweating quite a lot. But yeah, happy with these guys so far. So good. We also got a few other little bits and bobs off them as well. Just before we look at the shiny ones, we'll go through. These vanilla monsters from TP1. Gocky Boar as well from McDonald's pack. I love that. Hercules Beetle. Look at that. Awesome card, Hercules Beetle. Such a classic. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number two. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow Warrior as well. Such a cool card. And Water Magician. Beautiful Magician. 
fantastic. So happy with that. I'd love to complete the TP1 set and eventually work through all of the other TPs. The tournament packs. Let me just put that there so you can see a bit better. And here are the shiny cards, guys. I think there's only two of them. Maybe three. Princess Karan Unlimited, which is nice. She's beautiful. She's very beautiful. Even in Unlimited. Look at that, guys. Princess Karan. Wow. Such a beautiful card. With a little servant. I want to say slave, but more so servant, I think. On the back. So that's beautiful. Let's just sleep her up. Then it, we got um, some rares, I think. So Patrol, Robo, Faith Bird, and White Hole. TP3, TP2, and TP3. Some other TP cards, guys. I'm going to put those inside of this sleeve. So yeah, really nice eBay purchase. Really cool and friendly seller as well. Um, yeah, really nice guy overall in general and did me really, a really good deal. Each card I paid a, a dollar for, basically, 99p. So, so yes. Okay, guys, moving on before it takes forever to get through all of this. I want to open this package here. I'm not sure what is inside of this, guys, at all. So let me just quickly open the slits. Oh, I'm stuck on everybody. There we are. Okay, here we go. I've opened the slits. And it's a Spanish starter deck Joey, which is broken off, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's a Spanish starter deck Joey. I paid... Um, literally 10 bucks for this thing. It's, uh, is it first edition? I don't know, but it's still a starter deck, Joey. I'm actually going to give this perhaps to my, to my girlfriend, um, just because she's Spanish and I want to try and get her into, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh as well. So that'll be a really, really nice gift for her. <laughs> Let's see if she'll, uh, learn to duel. <laughs> Hopefully with this gorgeous red eyes deck, uh, deck. And, um, yeah, it's in Spanish, so she'll, uh, She'll know exactly how to play with the rule books and everything inside. Might get a few more of these. And it's first edition. Primera edición. Baraja de inicio, Joey. Objetivo. Dos barajas para coleccionar. Las barajas de Joey y Pegasus. Yeah, they, they do have Pegasus ones here on eBay as well. So I might grab that. So that's really nice to see. A starter deck, Joey. Um, yeah, for my girlfriend. So really happy with that. Who may feature on the channel soon during Christmas time, or if not, after Christmas in January. Anyway guys, moving on, this is a little gift which our great friend on the channel, Classic Cards Germany, has sent me. He sent me this basically just because we're really good friends. It's as simple as that guys, and I'll be sending him something soon. <laughs> Although he told me not to, I really wanted to. Um, just because of the fact that, yeah, he's so kind and uh, he sent me this. I helped him out recently with a purchase in the UK. Uh, he wanted to purchase a Dark Neos PSA 10 Ultra Rare, and uh, this feels like a little PSA card, so I hope, oh my god, there's actually so many cards in here, what has he done? Oh my god, Classic Cards Germany, he's got his own awesome card, look at that, that's so cool, I need one of these, Classic Cards Germany, beautiful, I love that, really nice logo, simple and effective. Thanks, my friend. I'll keep this with my collection of, of business cards. And I think he sent me a PSA card, everybody. Thank you, my friend. Let's see. Has he sent us a PSA card? It feels 99% like a PSA card. Let's see. I think I know maybe what card it is as well. <gasps> is it? Let me see. Oh. It's one of the cards I think it is. It is an ultimate rare. Assault on the GHQ. Ultimate rare. First edition from Flaming Eternity. That looks so cool, my friend. Thank you so very much for this. Assault on GHQ. Ultimate rare. Stunning, stunning, stunning card. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Really lovely card. That's amazing. I'll keep this in my collection as a token of our friendship. Thank you, my friend. Really, really appreciate it. Putting that down up there from Classic Cards, Germany. Never an issue with him. Always a nice guy. Definitely check him out on Instagram. All right, guys. Next one is from another Instagrammer, Old School Pharaoh. This card here, 
I think is the most I have ever spent on one single Yu-Gi-Oh card. So I'll repeat that guys. The most ever amount of money I've spent on a single Yu-Gi-Oh card. So this needs to be opened with caution and I hope, fingers crossed, that it has arrived in the condition that Mr. Old School Pharaoh had shown me. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Time to see which card this is. I've been after this card for a while. I've been looking for PSA 9s to have in mint condition, but I couldn't find any for any good prices. Then I came across this gorgeous card here. Ancient Gear Golem. Did you just see me open this, guys? Look at Ancient Gear Golem. European Ultimate Rare. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. This is a mint condition Ancient Gear Golem. European. I'm not even going to take it out of its sleeve. I can't. That is not for me to do. Even though it's my card. This is going straight to PSA. I've been having a fantastic discussion with Mr. Old School Farah. He is a believer that cards should be kept in raw condition. Whereas I'm a believer that cards should be sent to PSA and get authenticated, graded 10s and 9s and whatever. But honestly... If you're interested on in seeing the condition of this card, I might post some front and back pictures on um, on my Instagram. So, link down below for my Instagram, guys, if you want to check it out. I put it in every video. This looks like a PSA 10 version of Ancient Gear Golem. I cannot wait to grade this. Ancient Gear Golem. I just, let me just get a bit closer under the camera, guys. I just want you to really see this Ancient Gear Golem. Okay, I guess we can take it out of here. Look at that, Ancient Gear Golem. I, I, I don't believe it, guys. This is, I spent a lot of money on it. And I don't want to take it out of its sleeve, honestly. I, I'll be sending it in this sleeve to the PSA, exactly how Mr. Um, old School Ferrer has left it. There's no dings, there's nothing. Oh my god, this is this is gorgeous. This is, I'm hoping a PSA 9 minimum. I'm, I wanted a PSA 9. I'm collecting PSA 9 cover cards from GX Ultimate Rare, as I think I've mentioned on the channel. But old school Pharaoh, he has arrived. He is here. The ancient gear golem has arrived, and I'm so happy. And I'm so so happy. Wow, best purchase, um, perhaps of the video, guys. Honestly, we'll just put our gorgeous golem um, there for the time being. Okie dokie, guys. We're a good 25 plus minutes in, and I'm going to go for this next piece of mail here, which is a reasonable size parcel. So, I presume if you just rip it. Like this, we shall have something. Oh, hello! Yes, these are some decks again. I think this is courtesy of Mr. Joey. Yes, indeed, it is. It's Joey, our little sponsor, guys, who has sent us a couple of starter deck Pegasuses again, Spanish one and two. So relinquished on the front cover there, guys. Back in the day, these were 2003 release, I think. Um, so let's just get our Joey one out again for a second. Uh, these have come in good condition. They've not been broken. But I'll get a couple a couple more of these. Again, really, really nice. Gorgeous. Really cool. Thank you so much, Joey. It's funny how Joey, our sponsor, sent us Pegasus ones, but I actually got the Joey one myself. <laughs> that is quite funny. Um, okay, so our Pegasus ones will just put there for a second. Let me just clear out some view for you. Alright guys, there you go. You see that? Fantastic. Okay, so many goodies here already. Um, this box here is actually wrapped to say the least. It's fully duct taped. So what I'll do is probably pause the video and then um, just cut out all of this while I open it. So watch it there it is guys the box has been officially opened that took me a very long time so don't worry i've cut the video so you can uh, just quickly view me opening it and again this is another gorgeous box sent to us by our sponsor joey wheeler um on the channel which is insane and i really hope that you stay tuned for this guys it is an awesome awesome purchase i cannot really say anything more other than this so Sit back and watch this opening.
a Metal Raiders Portuguese Primera Edição booster box. Not only do we have one, we have two Portuguese Metal Raiders booster boxes, everybody. I have never, ever held a first edition box from original Duel Monsters. I know it is a foreign language and I know it's Portuguese. However, these are awesome. My friend, Mr. Sponsor, Mr. Joey Wheeler has sent us these to be opened on the channel as well as an awesome new Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians. Look at that. That is absolutely incredible. This Dimensional Guardians booster box will be opened on the channel very soon. And I will post this as soon as I can. Thank you so much, Joey, for this. Honestly, the best, best thing I could have as a sponsor. I feel blessed every day to have you here on the channel along my side, sponsoring my videos. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And of course, what you guys all want to see opened, the Metal Raiders booster box. They're actually in really good condition. A bit of a ding. Where did I see a ding um, on one of these? Um, maybe I didn't. Maybe I was imagining it. But they're really good condition. As I was saying, one of these boxes, I'm going to do a vote on Instagram for 24 hours, will be opened on my channel guys and what we're going to do for Mr. Joey is grade, PSA grade, the cards uh, which we pull from here. I'm not sure whether I'll scale the packs like fellow YouTubers or Ruxin34 does on his channel um, but yeah we will have to see what um, he would like me to do. I'm thinking perhaps scaling the packs would be best um, just to get those hollows and get a really good video out for you instead of opening cards where there's no um, hollows in, in the packs. But yeah, guys, look at those first edition, or should I say, Primera Edição, a box de Portuguese for Metal Raiders, guys. Gorgeous. As well as a new, um, as I said, Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians. I'll get that video on the channel very soon for you guys. So, what a fantastic piece of mail from our sponsor. Cannot wait to crack this open on the channel, guys. It's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. One more time, thank you, Joey Wheeler, our new sponsor on the Casual Duper Stuff channel. Right, moving on to the next piece of mail, guys. I might need to make some more room for it because it is a massive box. So I'm just going to bear with me for a second. Move our gorgeous Metal Raiders boxes. Um, another box here. And our, of course, structure decks, which Joey has sent us. And this is the one I bought as well. What I'll do with them is I'll just move them up here so you can sort of see them still. There you go. And then Dark Magician I'll move. Um, our beautiful gift as well. Move. Okay guys. Okay guys, here is the next piece of mail, it's the second last piece of mail, so thank you so much for bearing with us here on this great epic mail day journey. Um, yeah, I don't know what's in here, so we'll have a little look. Um, I can't really remember, I say, everything that it is that I buy, but it could be minifigures. I'm not entirely sure. It might be a couple of minifigures, although it seems to have come from Amazon, so this could be, again, something else which uh, our sponsor has sent us. Now, there's always that extra sort of... Um, doubt when it comes to mail days because I'm really not sure what I've been sent anymore. But I was right initially. They are mini figures guys. They are Yu-Gi-Oh mini figures. This one is a gorgeous one which I've recently sketched out. One second, bear with me. It is the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon minifigure. Look at that. Absolutely stunning with wings with every part I believe just a little bit dirty So I have to give him a quick air clean Air dust and clean and as well Another awesome dragon in here Is Mr. Joey Wheeler's
thousand dragon everybody look at that that's so cool so we've got a thousand dragon as well as a blue eyes ultimate dragon guys i really love these minifigures i'm getting really excited and carried away by the amount of ones i have now thousand dragon as well as blue eyes ultimate dragon guys awesome absolutely stunning fantastic so happy about that so another two minifigures to add to my collection all right guys moving on to the last piece of mail is this mahusive box i'm struggling to get it all set up for you so i might have to move everything out of the way before i I get it, so let me just move out all of our awesome items that we have got thus far today. And then what I'll do is review it all by the end. Here is the last piece of mail, guys. It is absolutely huge. I cannot even show it on here uh, fully. So yeah, honestly, I need to just crack this open and get the contents in. There's no way of me recording this opening. It's that big, guys. It is that big of a box, which is crazy. So just bear with me a second, guys, while I, while I crack this open. This is, again, from another great friend of ours on the channel, Mr. Relinquished. So, so yes, let's see. Let's see what Relinquished has sent us. It's going to be very hard for me to record this, guys. Oh, because it's such a big box. It's just crazy. Whew, so halfway through, we've got all the wrapping off. Now we just got to get through the box. All right, guys, it's almost there now. Oh. Okie dokie, so we're finally into this box everyone, it was wrapped really well for the massive side, let me just get it on camera, there you go, okay, can you see that guys, yeah, fantastic, just dig into this last box, the last piece of mail, let's see what we've been sent here guys, this is a big purchase, Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so you can see some ghost rares here, guys. This was the first little purchase from Relinquished. Um, again, really, really big purchase. The biggest purchase I've made off him so far. I've made a couple on the channel already, and uh, we just got talking, and he managed to sell a majority of his collection to me. So let's just have a little look at what that is here. React really, really well, Relinquished. Thank you so much, my friend. Really appreciate it. Don't know if you do watch my videos, but honestly, I've got to shout you out and say thank you so much for just being a really awesome seller and really, really friendly, really open, and do again fantastic deals as well. This would have, this was, this was. I can't even speak. My apologies, guys. This was a very big purchase, but he still managed to give me a great deal on it, um, which is really, really good to know that there's such kind out, kind people out there in the community looking to help each other's collections out. So, you can see here we have a Stardust Dragon. I'm wondering what this PSA card is. Um, let's have a little look. It's Dark Paladin, Mint 9. Gorgeous, look at that. Fantastic Dark Paladin from Mission's Force. It's unlimited, but of course this is the original card. Um, really, really, really gorgeous to see in a Mint 9. I think it's a bit off center, left to right perhaps. Um, but yeah, Dark Paladin, guys. Fantastic, what a card. What a fantastic card. Then down there a second, and then we'll go through the single cards that he sent us, which majority of them are in good condition, but um, some are, you know, light played. I think the Stardust Dragon has a little ding on. Um, it is unlimited, of course, but Stardust Dragon, Stardust Dragon. Oh my god, a Red Dragon Arch me Assault Mode as well. Oh my goodness, don't remember getting that one. That might be the freebie, because Relinquish is renowned for his awesome freebies, guys. He sent us so many good free stuff in the past uh, i wouldn't put it past them if this were a freebie red dragon archery in assault mode look at that gorgeous so red dragon archery in assault mode ghost rare first edition stardust dragon unlimited edition ghost rare rainbow neos unlimited uh, ghost rare shooting star dragon ghost rare first edition gorgeous cyber dark dragon uh ultra rare first edition 
Elemental Hero Flame Neos Ultra Rare First Edition. Earthbound Immortal Cocker Pack Apu. Look at that in Ultimate Rare. Let's see. Um, is that European Ultimate Rare? I think this is uh, North American Ultimate Rare, actually. And Axe of Despair from MRL First Edition. Uh, original printing as well. Not European. North American. Exodia Necros Unlimited. Serpent Night Dragon MRL. Uh, again, First Edition. These are in really good condition. I think they're almost gradable, so. All of the cards he had in really gradable condition, so I'll probably be sending them to PSA. Spellbinding Circle as well, MRL, first edition. Again, PSA gradable copy. I think these are all packed fresh from a box he must have opened. And a mixed, Mystical Space Star Dream as well. PSA 9, one of these went for about 100 bucks recently on, on eBay UK, which was a good value, I think. Um, so hopefully, honestly, that's awesome. So these are the top value cards, guys, as you can see. Um, I'll just do a quick run through again. And then, of course, there's a binder underneath our Dark Paladin as well. So really, really good cards. And he sent them so well packaged as well. Look at that, with little sleeves. And honestly, Relinquished, you rock my world, my friend. Thank you so much. So let me just put this here onto one side. And let's grab out this big, big... This is a box. One second, guys. I'm going to have to take this off just so I don't bash off the camera. Bear with me, guys, one second. So here is a sort of box, but I think it's a binder, and it must sort of pull out like this. Here we go. There we are. What a nice looking binder. It's really awesome. Okie dokie, guys. Nothing else in there. And then we open it. Here we go. And there's the cards which are inside of the binder. These are all sort of super rares um, and a couple of cards really which I didn't perhaps need in my collection, but... We managed to work out a good deal. How do I, how do, I do this? Is that right? Yeah, here we go. So you can see here we have a Cyber End Dragon. Uh, let me just wait. Can you see that? There you go. Cyber End Dragon, first edition. Three Cyber Twin Dragons and two Cyber Dragons. Really, really cool. Then on this page here we have Volcanic Doom Fire here, CT. Rainbow Dragon, Junior War Wolf. Some nice cards here as well. All sort of pack fresh. Super rares, guys, so really nice there as well. Three UFO fighters. I think he must have opened a few packs and you know, just back in the day, just had collected all of these super rares and ultra rares. A couple of ultra rares in there as well. Um, really nice cards to see in here, so really, really cool. Um, really happy with those. Um, Wolf, the, cre the Dark Creator, Unlimited, Goyo Guardian. Um, Underground Arachnid, that's pretty cool from, uh, is that from Absolute Power Force? Yes it is. Um, awesome, really nice. Cool binder, so happy that I um, managed to get these off him. And yeah, like I said, it was a really, really good price. Uh, power, no, not Powerful Dragon, Livestream Dragon, Earthbound Immortal. Skullmeister from STBL, that's really, really nice. Secret Rare. Uh, Kunai with Chain, Majestic Star Dragon, this is actually a really good one, Ultra Rare, I think this is Pack Fresh Mint Condition. Um, Imperial Order, Secret Rare, I think we're coming into some old stuff now here guys, yeah here we go, these are all um, original cards slash reprints, so what happened here? There you go, Divine Wrath, the Warrior Lady, ooh, A-Team Disposal Unit, Ult Ultimate Rare, that's nice. Yeah, Legendary Fisherman. Um, can you see that, guys? There you go. It's probably a bit better for you to see. Um, Barrel Dragon. All European cards, guys. They'll go really well in my European binder. I'm trying to collect all of the LOB Euro um, Metal Raiders and Magic Ruler Euro cards. So here as well, some Relinquish, a Toon Summon Skull. You can clearly see this is a reprint, but still gorgeous. Um, as well here on the side, you've got a Trihorn Dragon, LOB. That's actually zero zero, so that's really cool. Then you've got Magic Jammer, another Barrel Dragon, Insect Princess. Awesome, these are all from the legendary collections, I think. Uh, other than the Smaha Vilo first edition, that's cool. And Black Pendant first edition, and Giant Trude first edition. So he must have opened a Magic Ruler um, box, I think. And at the back as well, I've got some other cool cards. A Time Wizard from MRDE, and Mage Power. That's really, really cool, guys. Awesome, so good amount of hollows in this binder as well as the ones which Mr. Um, Relinquish sent us. I think he sent us that Ghost Rare for free. 
um, this time, which is a fantastic ghost rare. Honestly, this is this is like a forty pound card, thirty pound card perhaps ungraded. Um, so yeah, what a fantastic purchase, guys. Um, from Relinquish, thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. What a fabulous amount of cards you've just given us here today. And, um, and that actually, guys, is the last piece of mail. And it's going to be a very difficult one to go through for a recap. But just bear with me one second. So there it is, guys. All of the mail day contents. Can you see this incredible amount of mail? Let me just take this away for you. And look at that, guys. That is the destruction and um, post opening all of the mail here on the table. Um, guys, I honestly have to say this is one of my best ever um, videos, I think, for mail. It's crazy. We've got two Metal Raiders Portuguese first edition boxes. Like I said, one of these will be open on the channel. So go on my Instagram, vote which one, either the left box or the right hand side box. And the other one will be for sale. I've been informed by Mr. Joey Wheeler, our new sponsor on the channel, that one of them will be for sale. So if you're interested in that, please contact me either in the comment section below or on Instagram, guys. So Metal Raiders first edition box, Portuguese. Ghost Rares galore here as well. Four Ghost Rares, our Dark Paladin, one of the most gorgeous um, artworks ever. Our little figures as well. Thousand Dragon, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Dark Magician. Some cards here as well. That Ancient Gear Golem, everyone. Look at this card. This is hopefully, fingers crossed, going to grade a PSA 9 minimum. And I'm hoping for a 10 secretly at heart. I really want this to grade a 10. Because we paid premium prices for it. Look at those gorgeous... Spanish um, packs as well here the decks we have two Pegasus one Joey and guys honestly I've had so much fun unboxing all of this for you guys this mail day and I really really hope you can smash the thumbs up button subscribe to the casual Yugi stuff channel and turn on that notification bell just so you don't miss one of my videos when I do upload like I said I'm now in full-time employment uh, with my job so I'm gonna try and get as much content out for you there as possible guys and i hope really 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 hope you've enjoyed this video um it's been jamie here on the channel guys from casual yugi stuff channel um yeah where do we go from here guys again we'll just go on for the next video and like i said big stuff coming in the pipeline we've got this metal raiders box opening and a few more awesome cards as well and hopefully our psa return as well soon but thanks so much for watching guys hope you have a great great rest of your day and um Please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It means a lot, guys. This has been Casual Yugi Stuff for the best mail day ever, I think, on the channel. Signing off. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao for now. Enjoy your day.